Hi everybody, Jennifer McCreeth, uh, August 10th, 2022, second video of the night. Following up on my recent video regarding London, Ontario's police force swatting of a trans activist, and uh, I just want to follow up by saying hate crimes against trans people seems to be, unfortunately, a trend that's evolving here in the world. It's happening right here in Canada, and I think it's time. One, we need trans advocates, trans activists, and especially trans people who work in law enforcement. We need to come together. We need to form a professional association so we can work with each other, share good ideas, and put together a national plan and strategy to educate all law enforcement agencies and all health care agencies and all government agencies and even the private sector as well on trans issues. It blows my mind that we're still seeing dead naming and uh, misuse of pronouns as well as other inappropriate human rights violations by government officials against trans people. And secondly, we need to pay attention to this uh, swatting situation because uh, this is clearly a, a very serious type of crime that people are committing that's literally leading police on wild goose chases uh, going after fake complaints made by fake email accounts that basically are identity thefts. We need to take steps to identify and protect trans people at risk and keep them safe. We need to listen to them and take them seriously. The fact that this, this was reported to the London police and they chose not to do anything about it, saying, oh, that could never happen here, and then it did. Not good enough. Absolutely terrible. And uh, London, Ontario, your whole friggin' city. I hope you're all ashamed of yourselves because I'm ashamed for you. I used to live in that city and I just can't believe how bad things are getting in provinces that are supposed to be diverse, open, and accepting. Who would have thought that it's safer to be a trans person in Newfoundland than it is in Ontario? Give me a break. But yeah, I'm going to rally the troops. We're going to put together a team. And we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. And government, we're going to force you to listen to us because our rights are still being violated and there's not enough being done. And uh, we're just not going to put up with it anymore. We'll either see you at the boardroom table, or we're going to eventually see you in court. That's all I have to say for now. Thank you for watching.